React OS. It's open source, it's modern, it's free, it's written in C, and intended to be binary compatible with Windows NT. But will Diana like it? Let's find out and see. Okay, I think she's pretty excited today. She knows she's testing something. It is not made by Microsoft, so it is not a Windows operating system. It isn't made by Apple, so it is not a Mac operating system. And it is not a Linux distro. This will be interesting. Yup. What, what are you thinking? How different? Do you think it'll be no like nothing you've ever seen before? I do think it'll be nothing like nothing I've ever seen before because of the fact that it's not Mac, it's not Windows, it's not Linux. And just to say, Linux is open source. This is open source, meaning any way, like you're allowed to modify any part of it that you want, right? Okay. And it's completely, it's not like Windows where you're not allowed to modify anything. Like you've got a license, you're allowed to use Windows, but you sure. can't modify it. You can modify the background and stuff, but you can't modify the system files, the deal, like that kind of stuff. Just a question, yep. um, how compatible is it with current day software? It tries to be compatible. <laughs> it tries to be. <laughs> You're remembering Linux Mint and Wine, yes. aren't you? Okay, yeah. Google SketchUp has encountered a bag splat. Okay. <laughs> it tries to be compatible with everything Windows is compatible with. Okay. So if it runs on Windows, it's supposed to run on this. Okay, that'll be interesting. Let's see if it does. Okay, it's just loading up now. Loading, loading. freeloader. <laughs> yeah, well, so this it's a freeloader, this operating system. It's a free operating system. You don't have to pay for it. <laughs> you don't understand what I mean by freeloader. Oh, okay. Don't worry. This is taking a while, we'll be back soon. It's loading the system hive. I've got to admit, it's very slow, but at the same time it is running in a virtual machine with only 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 2 gigabyte hard drive. Okay, are you ready? It says React OS. This is a 2012 version. Well, I've been ready for the last 5 minutes. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, what do you think about it? Does it look like nothing you've ever seen before? It looks very Windows to me. It Actually. looks very Windows-like. Yes. Very okay. Windows. It's even got a start menu, but instead of the little Windows logo, it's got the little planet logo. So, you know, this was written from scratch. This They made it from scratch in the programming language called C and C++. But didn't they make it all operating systems from scratch? Oh, no, there's some of them... Linux, think of Linux how it's kind of building each upon each and yeah. coming upon. So this, this is not built upon Windows. This okay. is built from scratch. Okay. But you might notice that it seems very similar to Windows. They want it to, to be very similar to Windows. Oh, it does look very but similar, it, just it, with a different desktop background and a different symbol. Okay. Now, so what time is it? 5.23 p.m. Okay, 5.23. Remember, this is free, though. Yes. So, you like Windows, you're paying for that. You're not paying for this. This is free. Yes. Okay. So, next, I want you to write, save, and open a text document or file or something. Okay, well, I'm assuming they're documents that you've already created, yeah. so I'm not going to go in there. I'm going to click the Start menu and see... So this is React OS 0 0.3.14. It doesn't have, like, applications. So what do you usually call an application? Like, well, Office. I'm looking for an Office type thing. So, so you're I having can't... difficulty finding stuff? Yeah. The React OS start menu is very similar to the Windows Classic start menu she used just four months ago, yet she has already forgotten where to open programs. She is now used to the way of opening programs in the Windows XP start menu and the elementary OS launcher. Okay, my computer, I'm assuming that's all computer related. Yeah, you've got your C stuff, drive and stuff I like that. Which I never have to access. My documents are documents that you've already created. By the way, they wanted to base oh, it. For, file. Open. Oh, damn. <laughs> and this is the React OS Explorer, so it's not the Windows no. Explorer. It has a look of Windows 2000, but it's based off Windows XP. Okay. But it's not actually, it's written from scratch, but they wanted to base it off XP, if you know what I mean. Well, this doesn't look... What do you notice about the window? Like, that's an, even the very, exact button. It's very, very Windows 95, very. But the gradient was actually Windows 2000. Oh, okay. It's not there. What about one, 
Yeah. That's a desktop kind of thing. You know how you can have one with all your windows open and then oh, if you okay. go, it's almost that switching desktop, like the desktop cube hmm. from Linux. It doesn't program. Well, let me see if programs. Accessories. Oh, wait a sec. Ah. WordPad. Oh, that'll do. File, save as. But do you notice it's got the exact same name as the programming windows? WordPad. Just like Notepad. Yes. It's even got Notepad. But it doesn't have like an office thing. This Not by this. default, but does Windows have something by default? Oh office? no, you have to download it, don't exactly. you? Exactly. Okay, well it's got WordPad. Okay. Though. I've done that. I'm I'm assuming it's saved. I'm gonna close it Where now. Where did you save it to? I don't know. Maybe well if I look at my documents, maybe it'll be there. Why isn't it there? See where it's saved by default then. System 32. System 32 is I've where it's saved. I've never even heard of that. So, Why System would you 32 save something is something. There? I have no idea. <laughs> like on Windows, I wouldn't say something. You would assume there. it would so save. So, where would you access System 32 from here? Wouldn't have a clue. I'll give you a clue. Now you've got a clue. Um, program files? No. I'll give you a bigger clue. System 32. Yep. Oh, what a silly place to save it. Yeah, but you could save it anywhere. Yeah, but why does it choose to save it on that by default? Wouldn't you assume it would save it? And look it at all the other files that are in here. Oh, imagine going through. So and can you find your it. document? Yeah, this all comes with it. But in Windows, literally, you'll see something like this too. Even more files, actually. So where's yours? I don't know. Don't scroll down. I tell you what, this system. Don't scroll down. This system 32 reminds me of Area 51. <laughs> well, system 32 is in all Windows systems. You've got a system 32. But my Windows doesn't save it there by default. By default. I I think. Oh, there we go. An open document. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been on the screen, and I've been co going. Come on, find it. And you just but it just find it. when you see so many documents, it You're becomes put off. overwhelming, and it's yeah. I'm, I was put off. Okay, so you think by default they should change the default location? Yes. That things save. Yes, to documents. Yeah, but it would probably save it to documents once you saved at least one thing to documents. So from now on, oh, if you saved it to documents, it's only this initial. First use. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I opened a document, I found it eventually. Yep. So calculator now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just see what this is. Oh, that is the internet. Mm. Explorer. Instead of Internet Explorer, you've got Reactor. Yeah, but Explorer. does this look like the internet to you? It doesn't, but maybe it has a different internet. Calculator up oh, right at the top. You have to have a really steady hand to go. Okay, across. and what do you notice about the look of that calculator? Oh, React OS calculator. But it, what does it look like? A normal calculator. Like identical to Windows, yeah. not a thing uh, different. Yeah, not a thing different. <laughs> okay, so your calculation is 16 times 16 times 16 times 16. Okay. And then times 16 20 more times. Oh. Okay, fine, just 16 times 16. 256. Okay, great. Now, can you change the desktop background? Okay, I'm going to right click and see what happens. Properties doesn't do it. Are you sure? Oh, no. <laughs> see what I mean about having a steady <laughs> hand? <laughs> you right click. I, like, <laughs> I just, I don't seem to have a very steady hand today. Okay, properties. There you go. So it is. Background, important. screen saver, appearance okay. settings. Okay. Well, you know, it would have been easier if in, when you highlighted properties, it then had a little arrow key and showed you desktop. But what does it do on Windows? This is Windows 8, and if I right click, personalize. But in older versions. So it says personalize, this says properties. Yeah, but in older versions of Windows, such as XP, it said personalize, and it actually looks identical to that. Oh, okay. Well, personalise to me is more appropriate to changing yep. a background as opposed to properties. Yeah. Properties to me is like when you want to print something with your printer and you yep. choose properties to choose whether you want it fast or whatever. Okay. Let there be light. And there was light. Now, come on, <laughs> let's keep going. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the different backgrounds. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. Oh, let's do the raindrops. Apply. So it's come with three yeah. pre-installed ones, but obviously you can download more. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got water drops on my computer. 
What are you thinking of React OS? It's very Windows-like. It's almost like they deliberately tried to make it a little bit more difficult or hide or whatever. Properties instead of personalize. Yeah, but this is based on XP. It's written from scratch, but it was designed to look like XP, and that's what it, XP well, look, was. Let's just say it looks very much like the Windows XP, yes. But it just has a few confusing things in it. But it's free. Yeah, well, it's free. Great. It's free, and it's open source. Yeah. You are not trapped. You can do whatever the heck you want to this. Well, you'd get used to it eventually. So what do you think about this being open source? I can see advantages in it. Well, first of all, it's free. If there's something in it that you want slightly different or whatever, you can search to see whether someone's already created it like that. Or you can just simply look at some of the things that people have modified or created and think, oh, yeah, I like that feature. I'll... I'll use that particular yeah. one or even do they have like forums where you can then say there is react os forums yep and where you can, you can ask say stuff i want this you, particular thing and somebody can do it for you possibly or you might get put on the right track how to do it it's okay. all written in c though so if you know c or c plus plus those programming languages you could just modify the code yourself but let's say I don't, which I don't, and I wanted a particular feature in it, I could always see whether somebody's already made that feature in Possibly, but the thing about React OS is they want it to be as close to Windows as possible, so if you're adding features that Windows doesn't have, then they're like, oh, why would we add that kind of thing? They don't want to, like, for example, add a massive office suit, because Windows by default doesn't have that. They don't want to add about a hundred random, like, games, like The Walking Dead and stuff, because does Windows have that? No, not yeah, by default. I they want it basically to be a clone of Windows. It's actually received quite a bit of criticism and some interest this operating system because a lot of people will come up with the idea, well, why would you use this? Why not just use Windows? Why use a clone of Windows well, that's, that's great, obviously not so one. yeah, but that's obviously not as good as Windows and doesn't have as good as support. And if Windows just comes with the machine, why would you then get rid of Windows and install this? Well, if you wanted to use your current machine but upgrade your operating system, this is a potential advantage. Is this an upgrade though, since it's pretty much similar to XP? But would it be compatible with current? I know eventually XP is going to lose support, but will this lose support or will they keep building on this? The thing about this is it doesn't have the .NET framework. What and a lot mean? of things, the .NET framework is a framework which you write like Visual Basic .NET and all these programming languages. and in my opinion, they're pretty important to have, and this doesn't have that. This is all C, so I'm not liking the compatibility. I'll be honest here, this operating system, for me, I'm not so liking it. The idea of it being open source it's, and free, and that sounds okay to me, but unless you are a developer, a general user, in my opinion, would not want this operating system. So basically, in my opinion, I find this has an advantage over Windows in that it is customizable, but how many people out there do actually customize or even know how to customize so for the general user either or and remember Windows. with Windows you can still customize it heaps like you can change the theme you can even yeah, make it can. look like Ubuntu if you want to do stuff yeah. like that of course you're not really supposed to but you can even hack Windows if you want to get it to that that much customizable well I have to admit I am slightly disappointed with this because I was really interested to see what type of an operating system would be <laughs> unlike Windows, <laughs> unlike Mac, unlike Linux. And yeah, it's just an open I've got source a clone of Windows. Copy of Windows here. So. <laughs> now let's just have a little look at all the programs it comes with. So I'll open them up quickly from the start menu. Device manager, event view and all of that stuff that comes within Windows usually. You've got your magnifier. You've even got look it's identical instead of call, see wine wine mine. Mine. <laughs> wine mine. it does use um, some it, of the same stuff from wine in, in Linux w Windows Minecraft or something mm. what's it called in Windows Minecraft Minesweeper Minesweeper yeah so it does have all this stuff um, it's got this React OS diagnostics that's probably in Windows 2 what does that do D diagnoses if there's a problem with the computer well let's see I'm not really sure oh, it just talks a lot about the system, how much memory and RAM, the page file, stuff like that. Oh, but this is all blank. Ah, okay. So it doesn't have any of this stuff. It and doesn't even there's help. No help. You. Okay. And you may notice, look, this paint is that exact kind of identical paint you would find in Windows. Absolutely, but in here it's called unnamed bump paint. 
Oh, no, that's just the file. Oh. You would still get something like that in Windows. Um, yeah, so everything is... I don't, and there's Notepad. See? So it really feels like it is Windows, but it's written from scratch rather yeah. than being copied over from Windows. Yeah, it does. It, ha it really has a Windows feel to yeah, it. Yeah, so everything is... But just a few little different names here and there. Yeah. Here is the command prompt. So it really could... likes its System 32, doesn't it? Yeah, it always seems to default <laughs> to that. But yeah, there we go. And it's it works like you can type the same kind of command you would in command prompt to view the files and stuff. So yeah, it is a very close to Windows clone and it can run Windows software. I found the shutdown, but I, I just want to say I'm glad it's got a search bar because I find that very useful in all um, operating systems. And it looks very similar to the Windows one, but this Explore one, this just got me confused. Yeah. Okay, turn off. Yes. Funny thing, with React OS I thought it would be very reactive and very fast. It's been quite slow, but when something's in a virtual machine, yeah. it is slower. So you can never judge something if it's running on a portable hard drive or if it's in a virtual machine or USB. Slower, don't yeah. judge it. Just if it's installed as the main OS on the computer, then you can judge it. Okay. And it's a good computer. You're buying a computer right now. Yes. It came with no operating system. Let's say Very the computer strange, was I know. Anyway. Let's say the computer was two hundred dollars. Would you pay eighty dollars for XP or would you get React OS free? Well if I'm only spending two $200 on a computer, I'd assume I'm pretty short of dough, so I probably would go for the free. But, I mean, React OS? Yeah, okay. because of the fact it's already almost almost a clone of Windows. There's a few little things that you would eventually get used to, a few yeah. different names. I didn't find it hard navigating through because it has a very much a Windows feel to it. If I was going to save 80 bucks and I'm only spending 200 bucks on a computer to begin with, then yeah. But if I was spending a whole stack of money on a computer, come on, I'd expect it to come with an operating system. Yeah, okay. And I'd expect it to come with one of the better known ones like Windows or, you know, yeah, Windows. Okay, well we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.